Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team gives you an analysis with the information we got after the closing date time of April 23, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the Bullo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the Bullo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the Bull Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Corporate Bond ETF belongs to the Bull Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $247.78. For put option, a possible put price is at $8.04. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Biogen Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $307.61. For call option, a possible call price is at $7.74. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Medtronic PLC was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Medtronic PLC is a bolo class. In the past, it has given an average buyer return of 2.3%.
you may expect now a buyer return of 15.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $110.98. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $91.1. On the call option table, Medtronic PLC has a striking price at $92. For this option, the actual call price is at $5.93. But we expect a possible call price at $3.87. Merck Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Merck Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buyer return of 2.2%. You may expect now a buyer return of 6.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $86.13. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $77.5. On the call option table, Merck Incorporated has a striking price at $78. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.95 but we expect a possible call price at $2.69. Industrial Sector ETF belongs to the Volo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Lockheed Martin. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 20.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $385.25. For call option, a possible call price is at $9.87. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Lockheed Martin was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Lockheed Martin is a bolo class. In the past, it has given an average buyer return of 2.4%. You may expect now a buyer return of 20.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $452.97. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $357.31. On the call option table, Lockheed Martin has a striking price at $375. For this option, the actual call price is at $10.25. But we expect a possible call price at $9.87. Union Pacific is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 9.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $153.95. But we expect a possible sell price of $156.17. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Union Pacific if it is over 1.45% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Union Pacific has a striking price at $160. For this option, the actual put price is at $9. But we expect a possible put price at United Parcel Service is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 4.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $99.61. But we expect a possible buy price of $98.53. In addition, we suggest to stop buying United Parcel Service if it is below 0.45% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, United Parcel Service has a striking price at $98. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.55, but we expect a possible call price at $3.11.
Material Sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $177.8. For call option, a possible call price is at $6.66. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Sherwin-Williams was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Sherwin-Williams is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $511.37 but we expect a possible sell price of $512.06. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $481.53. On the call option table, Sherwin-Williams has a striking price at $495. For this option, the actual call price is at $19.1, but we expect a possible call price at $17.85. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Walt Disney Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 41.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of 102 point. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy the Coca-Cola company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $46.4. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.18. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. PepsiCo Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that PepsiCo Incorporated is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $138.92. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $129.02. On the call option table, PepsiCo Incorporated has a striking price at $130. For this option, the actual call price is at $3.4, but we expect a possible call price at $3.76. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell.
Microsoft Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Microsoft Corporation is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 18.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $203.77. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $168.48. On the call option table, Microsoft Corporation has a striking price at $165. For this option, the actual call price is at $9.08, but we expect a possible call price at $5.78. Texas Instruments was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Texas Instruments is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 6.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $103.21. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $117.82. On the put option table, Texas Instruments has a striking price at $119. For this option, the actual put price is at $9.03, but we expect a POS. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as an opportunity to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.